All right, good morning. So the xtadevelopers.com website has the best laptops to use Linux for this year. Now, real brief here, let's take a look at some of these prices. We have a Dell, $1,500. Another Dell, $1,400. System 76, $1,100. Lenovo, 1275 Dell Latitude, this is almost 2000 And the list goes on and on. Here's another one by Dell for $2,829. Their favorite laptop is one by Dell to run the most versatile for Linux for $1,500. If we scroll down to the best portable one here, it says here cons a bit on the expensive side. I think they're all <laughs> slightly on the expensive side for someone who wants to try Linux and is not thinking about, well, Apple compatible prices. Lenovo, Dell Latitude. So this is the best convertible one for, well, as we see here, it's about $2,600. No, no HDMI port. Think about it, with tax, it's almost three grand, no HDMI port. Now granted, you may not need an HDMI port, but I'm just saying. And is there any mention of a Chromebook in this? Did I miss it? Let me go back and look real quick. Let's go to the top. I think there was a mention of one Chromebook. Okay, Acer Chromebook Spin. This is listed as the best budget for $540. Yeah, I think you can get a better deal uh, for a Chromebook for about uh, $350, $400 based on my experience. So the point I'm getting here Someone who wants to use a laptop just to browse the web, you know, stream videos, watch me or somebody else, they're probably not going to spend two or three thousand dollars. That is the Apple laptop customer. So this is not the market, really. These laptops, in my opinion, are not the market for a consumer wanting to try something in Linux. That's where the Chromebooks fit in very nicely. All right, I'm done. Time to grab coffee and start my morning. What do you guys think about all these prices?